Last game of day three. <laughs> the girls have got to be feeling it. As we get things moving, Papua New Guinea with first chance. Great colour matchup as well. The yellow up against the blue. And we have some, some slight drizzle around. So it'll be something to contend with for these women in the contest. So Papua New Guinea with first chance of ball in hand. Moving it forward through Matthew. No way through there. Strong wall of defence. It's PNG trying to offer some momentum in their first attacking chance. Kalpa plays it, finds Melly Joe. She was one of the best yesterday. And that one's just snatched out a little bit there from Kuroa. And her first mistake of the day, giving ADF a chance just outside PNG's half. Yeah, not the start they probably wanted, but you touched on it. Melly Jo, she was superb yesterday. I'd imagine we'll be saying her name quite a few times. She's everything you want in one of your halfbacks. Australian Defence Force for their first chance. The ball in hand. See the Broncos fly up. Julia Robertson is making her way on the sideline there. A proud member of the Australian Defence Force that... Someone that came through this system and now is an absolute superstar in NRLW and the international game. Crazy. Julia down here supporting these young women going toe to toe as Lee Ward gets hit in a big shot. Javoyevic. Went off yesterday with an ankle injury. Good to see she's bounced back and moving nicely again. Michaela Javoyevic should be a big part of this ADF side if there are a chance. Against Papua New Guinea. So Grace Bailey plays it. To the right they go. Watson Compton getting it on the outside. And that's a big collision as well. Barlow, she plays it for Travoyevic. Ward tips it off. Fredrickson. This will be the last for ADF. The crossfield kick from Evans and now flying high, trying to get underneath it. Goes through the arms of Papua New Guinea. And it's well picked up there from Tauti and she's going to run out of room. And the flag is up on that far side. The Australian Defence Force have a chance to reset and go again here. Quite a demanding and aggressive start from the Defence Force as well. One we... Didn't see yesterday, they were playing New South Wales country who we've just seen and are so dominant, so it's really hard to put your best foot forward sometimes, but it seems like they're returning uh, to what we saw on the first day for the Australian Defence Force. So Shannon Evans, the nine jersey, waiting for it. Finds McDougal. Goes close as well. So the Australian Defence Force with a good chance here. Lee Ward and... Fredrickson just mixed up their running lines there, both going forward and knocking it on. Papua New Guinea withstand the opening onslaught and now they have a chance to work their way up the field. So Papua New Guinea through Esther Arup. Such entertainers yesterday. But they will have their work cut out for them against the brutal defence of ADF, but that helps. Penalty inside their own 20. was ready too. We'll see if she does it again. You bet she will. Takes it up the middle. Oh, 
Back underneath now. Good jamming shot. Once again, Balo up in the face. The number 12 for the Australian Defence Force. Gloria Kalpa. Scored a good try yesterday. Back for more on day three. Couple back underneath. Parker. Hells the call. So she'll play it. Grace Sar. Floats it. That's to Melly Drew. She can't control it now. Lee Ward loses as well. So double knock on. The first one coming from ADF. So PNG get another chance. Third set as well from PNG. The ADF just giving away those piggyback penalties. They really don't need to be. Just a little bit of discipline in the tackles. Gloria Kalpa, once again, big collision, taking it just short of halfway as they progress over now through Pinder. Again, a bit of miscommunication. Parker has gone behind, hitting her on the arm there. And here it comes, and you see the Australian Defence Force getting around each other, firing each other up. Running with intent to Parker. Not sure if she thought she might have been running a block for one of the other players to take. But we'll finally see ADF with some ball in hand now. They've been on the defensive for the last three sets. Watson Compton with the feed. Eventually. Lee Ward scoops at the back, and now Evans straightens. Runs into Melly Joe with some assistance. Trevojevic, left-hand side, Ward off her left, and hit. And Matt as well. Gloria Kalpa. She is absolutely prolific with her shoulders. Longfoot, her first touch. Trevojevic making some good meters, but once again, the collisions are huge from Papua New Guinea. Evans finds McDougal. Shoulders made of concrete. These women from Papua New Guinea, impressive defensive effort so far. Fifth and final, Evans goes airborne. And both ADF players sort of confusing themselves there. Whitmore drops that one. So it will be a turnover. It's a threatening defence, though, from Papua New Guinea. These women, like you said, made of concrete or steel. PNG just producing some absolute athletes and future Orchids players, I imagine. Bit of a bobble, but well contained from Bal. So nine minutes gone in this first half. Still searching for opening score. Both sides have had opportunities. Defence has been A1 so far. Here's an opportunity. The leading try scorer in this tournament, Guasman, got a hat trick yesterday. Look for her as this game continues on. The bomb goes up, bounces off the chest, back into the arms of Gloria Kalpa. In Papua New Guinea, six again. And a penalty as well. Got one of the Australian Defence Force players, the number six, Brittany Bugden, down in back of play. Just receiving some medical attention now.
But finally, we saw Belinda Glassman getting a touch. She needs to be a go-to option, surely. Yeah, she does with three tries under her belt yesterday. The first hat-trick we've seen in the competition as well. I really hope, yeah, Belinda Glassman starts to get involved because everything she touches turns to magic. And I think the PNG girls have worked that out now that that's going to be the threat against the Australian Defence Force. Just give her the ball and watch her go. So PNG now with a chance as Bugden does come from the field for ADF. And time back on for the referee. Crunching forward is Joseph. Sa. There's a pass away to Muluwia. There's number 10, Jamita Matthew, getting involved. Right side they go. Joe, showing, going, dropping it back underneath. Kuroa. The Australian Defence Force. Holding firm. Joe gets it away. Wrapping around now is Gloria Kalpa. By the bootlaces, Watson Compton holds on. Left side they go, to the line, weaving, and stopped, just half a metre short. This will be the last. Sarp, dummy to herself, and then gets the pass away. Running back into the traffic is Bao, sees some space, and tries to keep her feet, but can't do so. So six again for that touch that came from ADF, and now, again, this would be a great defensive effort if ADF can hold them out here. So, once again, shifting and floating. Great offload again, Melly Jo, she's dangerous. Javoivi gets a hold of her. Building nicely, uh, Papua New Guinea, but trying to find some space out wide. In striking distance. Gloria Kalpa, she'll be hard to stop. The Longford's there to get body in front. Star again, quick recycle, Joe, got ball, and now here she is, Guasamon. oh that is a great tackle, forcing the error, a huge moment there, Velma Sang making the tackle I believe, it had to be made, and it turned out to be very important. Well, these women put the defence in defence force, that was repeat sets, and they did an excellent job just keeping PNG at bay. They tried everything. Melly Jo in there. She has a few tricks up her sleeve, but nothing would get through the brick wall of the ADF women. As another one of their players receives some medical attention. They've lost a few of the cavalry across the carnival. Trying to walk off that ankle injury. It looks to be too much to handle. A bit of a jog happening, but coming from the field. So Kayla Barrow will, Barlow will come back on. Grace Bailey onto the field for ADF. And it's hard to believe it's still nil all. It's an absolute tug of war up there. I think these two teams are so evenly matched. And we've seen that in their past two performances as well. So whatever, whoever scores points first is certainly going to have to work for it. Final five minutes. 
in this first half. Get restarted here. Australian defence force certainly had their chances. And Papua New Guinea have been very strong in defence. The size and power through their forward pack, a real point of difference early on. Trevojevic goes to Evans, the big dummy. And once again, met. Gloria Kalpa, but it's back to back penalties to Australian defence force. Easy metres. Vojevic coughs it up on tackle number one. Costly mistake. And this tug of war matchup will continue. Fourteen there is Joseph. She plays it. That's a Mulawiya. And now one more on the outside. Just making their way just over the halfway line. Millie Joe spots a space left, nothing doing, comes back right. Kira Smith is there to make the tackle. Aram. Aram straightens. And again, the penalty going. This time in Papua New Guinea's favour. So both, both sides need to watch their discipline. A bit of fatigue kicking in, I think, now. Day three, game three. Too many errors, but also the longest we've seen without any points being put on either team. We might even be heading into halftime at nil all, which would be a first here at the National Championships. Halftime just two and a half away. Can Papua New Guinea get on the board with this set? Joe drops it back underneath, and here's the woman can, that can do just that, Guasaman. Centre field, options left and right, assessing the situation is Sa. Goes to the right, Melly Joe again, dropping it back underneath, looking for the bigger runner and finds it in a barnstorming Kuroa. But up to the task, Grace Bailey making the tackle alongside Kira Smith. Molawia offloads in the tackle and now on the outside for Aram. This is good hands and the footwork. And the score from Deb Kitipa. It's taken 18 minutes, but finally we have our first try. And it does go the way of Papua New Guinea. Got to be happy with that performance. They certainly worked hard in the last 18 minutes. And here we'll see it in the replay. They're playing the shorter side. A little bit of a step from the 16, Molawia. But it's the offload, the offloads that we love to see before it touches 14, number three, and then 13. That's Deborah Katipa coming off Essa Aram. And the Papua New, uh, the Papua New Guinea girls, first points for this game. The longest we've seen without points as well, coming at 18 minutes. But a lovely try down the left-hand side for Katipa. So it is the try scoring sensation. Guasaman with the kicking duties as well. Looking to fade that around. It's a great strike. And there's two more for Papua New Guinea. Convinced there's nothing that Guasaman can't do. As we'll see, the first points put on. A lovely replay goes through the hands of Molawia. But it's this offload finding Joseph before touching out that left edge. And a lovely little flick from Aram. Finding try scorer Katipa. 
And the Lewis will be the first to put points on the Australian Defence Force. Half time, low scoring, but a real physical encounter. PNG leading ADF, six points to nil. Second half ready. And we have an absolute close one. Papua New Guinea leading the Australian Defence Force, six points to nil. 20 minutes to play to decide who will continue on. Such a grind that first half as well. Took 18 minutes for PNG to put the first points on. So we'll see how the ADF women retaliate. And the obstruction call does come there. Accidental, but obstruction nevertheless. So Papua New Guinea do get a good start here and a good chance in some positive field position as well. PNG as well as a team that we've really seen develop as the day goes on. I'd say one of their best performances was yesterday over South Australia, but each day they have something more to offer in their strategy and game plan. So as they hunt for their second try, a good attacking chance here, Gloria Kalpa. Takes it up the middle. Options to the right. That's the way they go through. Melly Joe now holding up to Guasiman. So hard to stop. Ten away. Papua New Guinea. Having a snipe. Right hand side. Melly Joe dropping it back underneath. PNG. Finding some great offload ability. Now for Golden Bow. Going cross field. To find support, that's a, a wayward pass over the top. Did it go forward? The referee says yes. Some wicked passing, though, from Melly Joe on the right edge. They sort of drew all of the ADF defenders to where they were. So if they were able to spread it back to the left, they would have had numbers. But great defense and insight from the ADF to force the error and force the drop ball. The Australian Defence Force on their own 10, tip pass. We need to find some rhythm in attack to the Australian Defence Force. This is better down the left hand touch line. Shannon Evans, the number nine jersey, organising her charges. Longford leaves that one behind. Just gifting chances to Papua New Guinea. Great mistake from Burton as well. I think it's because, you know, last game of the three days, fatigue is kicking in and the ADF have lost a few of their players as well. So they're playing under duress and we're just seeing these errors that we didn't really see in the first two days of their games. Quasiman from the back of the scrum, running cross foot, eventually straightening. And all gets taken down. Born all now gets another penalty. Australian defence force, their own worst enemy, continues into this second half. Time on. And Papua New Guinea hot on the attack through Pinder. Couple looks left and plays right to Galpa, the number 20. Gloria has gotten through so much work today. Very impressive. Seven away. Papua New Guinea looking for try number two. Pressing forward is Joseph. And again, the quick hands. 
And so far, so good for the ADF defence. They're not out of trouble yet. Melly Joe wrapping around the corner. Here's Moluia who gets the pass away to Kuroa who takes on the defence, but ball and all is met. Final play now. Guasman sends a long ball over the top and bounces into the arms of ADF. And here's an opportunity. Stretching the legs. Whitmore getting involved. So once again, Australian defence force sold in defence. As the name suggests. Evans hit. McDougal. Luana gets a good offload as well. That's more like it. Balo on this left hand side. Longford. Run straight into the traffic. Made some good meters on this set. Have the Australian Defence Force. Right side they go. Ward tips it on. Watson Compton. Just plugs it over the top. Needs a good bounce. But safe. Papua New Guinea back there. Kitapa there in cover and the penalty as well. This is a bit sloppy there in that high shot. And after all that good work, they give away a penalty. I'd argue probably is their, was their best set that they've produced in the last 26 minutes as well, which is a rarity for Australian Defence Force. Usually they come out of the gate swinging. So it's taken them a little bit to get back to where they were. But it certainly won't help giving up those... Uh, just lack of discipline mistakes. to Aram. She'll play it. The try screw up. Kitty Park. So seven minutes gone in this second term. And so far, the score remains unchanged. Six points to nil. Papua New Guinea. Holding on. Joseph. A full head of steam and loses it. On the way through, and then a the second knock on from Evans. So it will be Australian Defence Force forcing the error. Good chance to attack here from their own feed of this scrum inside Papua New Guinea's half. Shannon Evans does have her hands on it. And she wraps around that second touch, does Evans, and now Watson Compton. Some good opportunity here for Burton. Pleading for the high shot, and they get it. Madeline Burton. They're steaming onto it. A full head of steam. Fredrickson. And now she loses it. But illegal ripped away. To the dismay of the Papua New Guinea women. So this is a big moment right now for the Australian Defence Force. Just over 10 to play. And you get some points here. Try and build some momentum as well. Third set now as well. Just repeat sets that the PNG girls keep giving away. Just due to their own lack of discipline. Fatigue kicking in. So great field position from the Australian Defence Force. We're still on naught. So they'll be looking to put some points on the Papuans. 
Quick shovel on there from Longford. Now she does the similar. Outcome there for Balo. As the crowd begins to find their voice. McDougal. Inside the 10. Fetched. Gets it away. Ward juggles and then spills it. And gets clobbered for her liking as well. Lee Ward has had a look. And again, the chance goes begging. So Papua New Guinea. Just finding a way at the moment. Six points to nil. This bow. Couple. Dummy for Molawia. Ten away from halfway. Longford again. With a big upper body shot. The Papua New Guinea maintaining composure. As Melly Joe looks to swing it. Kuroa running back into the midfield and bumps over one. PNG keeping it cranking. Melly Joe drops it back on there to Guasiman. Sends a loopy pass on the infield as Ward gets up in the face and forces the mistake. Just a wayward pass. Again, forcing the error. Just so many errors in this game. Probably one of the higher error counts that we've seen across the competition. From two teams, you wouldn't expect it to. ADF very disciplined in a lot of their plays and, you know, the outstanding performance from PNG yesterday. Just a lot more mistakes than either team are used to. So ADF given countless chances and here's another one. Restart play here. Australian defence force hot on the attack. They've been unable to find a way through, and again, a real frustrating matchup for both sides. Just error riddled. The full credit PNG, they're staying in there and continuing to force those errors. Yeah, they are, and it's it's a strong defence. You know, both teams just keep fighting. It's just those little errors that you would have liked to have seen early on in the competition. But I think it's just coming down that these girls are now playing under duress and they're playing with what's left in the tank after a pretty demanding three days here at the National Championships. So they're really putting everything on the line. There's just not a lot left to give when you're at these final days of competition. It's been a big three days. Of the Harvey Norman National Women's Championship. 12 teams from around Australia and the Pacific. Stars of tomorrow on show. In this game, we're a grinding affair. They will conclude day three as we head into day four tomorrow. The winners of the pools going head to head. Which will be some really juicy matchups, that's for sure, as Papua New Guinea. Eager to be a part of the pointy end of this tournament. If they can get a win here today, which will be their second of the tournament. The show and the go on the outside is special. As Bow holds it up and now Aram beats Smith and now almost escapes the defence there of Samantha Mead. The kick at a dummy half is sent 
downfield, but well taken there from Burton. So I can pose underneath. Same. Hit once again. And some bruising defense. Whitmore plays it. Ward trying to get heavily involved and conjure up something for her side. Again, just clip from behind there. Watson, Compton. And now Rhiannon fetched. Takes it up. As Evans launches that one downfield. Gets a good angle on it and it will be a good bounce as well. And one bounce into touch. Now, Alex, really important here for the ADF to try and ping PNG down in this corner. Yeah, definitely. They're going to have to rally what they've got left in the tank. We've seen that they can defend. They're just going to have to stick it out for these last few minutes. And if they can force an error, they're in great field position to, to maybe put some points on this 6 0 scoreboard. Well, Papua New Guinea being. The more dominant side in attack so far as we head into final three and a half. Gwasserman gets a good offload away. Nelly Joe offers the same as Bow gets shot well and truly above the shoulders there. Evans doesn't agree. But the referee gives the penalty to Papua New Guinea and just can wind down the clock a little bit more. Melly Joe would have to be one of my favourite players of this competition. She's been an absolute standout. Speaking of standout, how's that for contact? On Melly Joe, and she's tough as they come. She bounces back and will go again. Sa gets hit. And good collision from Evans. Guasima dropping it back underneath. Gloria Kelper. Charging on halfway. Good block of play and out the back door they go. This is good play there from Papua New Guinea. Aram with the fend and the offload. Malawia. Ball in two hands and now they take it. Just outside the 20. Papua New Guinea. This is a great raid. Pinder. Held the call. She'll play. This will be the last. They go to the left-hand flank. Looking for the flyers out wide. Someone to fly high. And, but safe underneath that once again. Australian defence force. With all the work to do. Watson Compton that time underneath it. And the clock continues to tick away. Against the Australian defence force. And that will not help their cause as PNG now swoop on it. Aram. Once again, a full head of steam. PNG. To lock out this match. Inside the five. Matthew plays it. Go out towards Melly Joe and she goes towards the line and eventually gets a pass away to Guasim and it's not a good one. So 50 seconds on the clock. Adiev have the ball. And a long way to go. Long way to go. This is where the PNG defense really needs to work. If they can keep the ADF girls down here, they've got some really strong runners and some pace. So you can't afford to give them any space. 
Well, as we might see a breakaway try, but there's only about 20 seconds left to do so. So if they're going to have to do something, it's going to have to be now. PNG, with a tactical knot, that taking an attorney to pack that scrum. Well, they won't mind, as Sang goes on the outside. They're desperate now. As goes wide to Mead. She'll play it. So eight seconds left. And Evans... We'll be the last play of the game. Desperate offload, and there's the knock on. That is the story of the Australian Defence Force Day. So that will be full time and a brutal, grinding win from Papua New Guinea. Closing this one out, six points to nil to wrap up day three action. We'll see the replay of the one and only try that would come in this final game here on day three. It started here, it touched Joseph before finding Aram, and eventually Katipa on the wing would put on the only points for Papua New Guinea. It would be the most crucial points to fence the key, and Papua New Guinea get their second win of the campaign. And that wraps up day three action of the Women's National Championship, brought to you by Harvey Norman. We thank you for your company once again, and a huge day four coming your way. Of course, the action. Continue slightly earlier tomorrow at 9 a.m. kickoff 